Hey everyone, welcome to another deep dive. And today we're tackling something pretty amazing. Yeah. We're going deep into the world of Algorand. Algorand. You know, Algorand for you crypto folks out there. Absolutely. We're talking about like lightning fast transactions. Uh, uh, you know, imagine like your yogurt container. Okay. Actually telling a story about how sustainable it is. Interesting. And we're also talking about financial inclusion reaching like the farthest corners of the globe. The most remote places. Yeah. It's incredible, right? It, absolutely. Lots of potential. So today, yeah. we're going to like cut through all the hype yeah. and really understand what Algorand's all about, like how it's actually being used in the real world. Real world applications. That's key. Yeah. And why it's grabbing the attention of like everyone. Online, yeah. From governments to, you know, institutions. institutions to, you know, just like everyday users like you and me. Exactly. Yeah. Now, to help us get like, the complete picture. We've got insights from uh, some great sources. Yeah, some amazing sources like Cheeky Crypto, Whiteboard Crypto. Oh, I love those guys. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. Allen Crypto, Crypto Hulk, uh -huh. and DHN Crypto. Fantastic. A good mix of perspectives there. Yeah, so we're going to get like a, a 360 degree view of Algorand. Yeah, I'm excited to unpack this. Me too. So let's start with the basics. Okay. What is Algorand? Well, what's fascinating here is Algorand is what we call a layer one blockchain. Okay. Kind of like Ethereum, you know? <laughs> oh, okay. But it's it's built for speed, like yeah. you were saying, blazing fast transactions, scalability, and sustainability. Okay. So That's really where it shines. You said you said layer one. Right. What do what does that even mean for those of us who who aren't like, you know, crypto masters yet. Sure, sure. Break it down. Think of layer one as like the foundation of a blockchain ecosystem, right? It's the base layer okay. where all the action happens, where all the transactions are happening. Okay. So it's really the groundwork. Got it, got it. For got everything it. else. So how does Algorand like actually get that speed and scalability? Well, it comes down to their really unique consensus mechanism. It's called pure proof of stake. Pure proof of stake. Yeah. Or PPOS for short. PPOS. Okay. Now, Whiteboard crypto, they do a fantastic job explaining this. It's mm -hmm. different from like your traditional proof of stake, right. where only the big guys, the people with the big stake, get to validate transactions and earn rewards, right? Mm -hmm. PPOS is different. Okay. It lets all algo holders participate and earn rewards passively. So like my wallet's just growing just by me having algo. Exactly. Imagine that. I like that. Just holding it, you're earning more. Passive income. Passive income, exactly. Okay, I like where this is going. And because it doesn't need that energy-intensive mining like some other blockchains, yeah. it's super sustainable. That's a win-win. Exactly. Good for the planet, good for your wallet. Yeah. Now, Cheeky Crypto and Whiteboard Crypto, Yeah. they mentioned like transaction speeds of up to 10,000 per second with finality in under three seconds. Unbelievable. That's insane. Yeah. Plus, like, the fees are way lower yeah. compared to other blockchains. That's a big advantage. Yeah. So all of that makes Algorand really, really attractive for real-world stuff, right? Real-world use cases, yeah. Now, speaking of real-world stuff, uh -huh. you mentioned earlier, like, yogurt containers. Right. Telling a story about sustainability. Yes. Where does Algorand fit in? Well, that's a perfect example of Algorand in action. Okay. DHN Crypto talked about this company called Finboot. Finboot. And they're using Algorand to create these transparent and sustainable supply chains. Okay. And they use the example of a yogurt container. Okay. Imagine you're in the store. Yeah. You pick up your yogurt, yeah. you scan it with your phone, and you can see the entire journey. Oh, wow. From the farm where the milk came from to the factory where it was made to the store. It's like giving each yogurt container its own little passport. Exactly. A digital passport for your yogurt. Okay, I like that. And this is becoming more and more important, right? Because yeah. people want to know where their stuff comes from. Right. They want to know it's sustainable. Absolutely. And DH and Crypto also mentioned that the FDA, they're working on regulations for food traceability. Interesting. So this kind of technology... It's going to be huge. It seems like Algorand's like right at the forefront of this whole trend. Absolutely. They're ahead of the curve. So we've got speed, we've got scalability, we've got sustainability, and now transparency. That's a powerful combination. Yeah. What other problems is Algorand tackling out there? Well, financial inclusion is a big one. Okay. DHN Crypto talks about this project called Hasab Pay. Hasab Pay. Yeah. And it's really revolutionizing financial access for women in Afghanistan. Wow. That's incredible. I mean, yeah. what's the situation in Afghanistan that makes this so important? Well, DHN Crypto points out that before the Taliban took over, yeah. only 6% of the population had bank accounts. Oh, wow. And for women, 
it was even less. That's really tough. Yeah, access to traditional banking is just, it's very limited. So that's where Algorand steps in. Exactly. So. Hasab Pay uses Algorand's blockchain to enable fast, affordable, secure transactions. Yeah. Even in places where, you know, traditional banking infrastructure just isn't there. So they're like bypassing the whole system. In a way, yeah. Wow. Just empowering women, giving them control of their finances. That's amazing. Opportunity to participate in the economy. That's really inspiring to see. It is. It's powerful. It's like Algorand is making a real difference in the world. Definitely. That's awesome. And speaking of making a difference, make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. Okay. And get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Sounds interesting. It is. It's over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Wow. Simply submit your name and email. Easy enough and click the verification link sent to your email address. Okay. The link for this is in Brian's YouTube bio. So we've seen how Algorand is impacting supply chains, financial inclusion. Yeah. What other areas are they making waves in? Well, let's talk about stable coins. Okay. Those are cryptocurrencies that are tied to the value of something stable, like the US dollar or the euro. Okay. And they're becoming super popular. Uh-huh. Algorand is really positioning itself as a leader in this area. You mentioned the euro specifically. Is there something going on in Europe with stablecoins? Yeah, the EU has these new regulations for stablecoins. Uh -huh. They're called MICA, which stands for Markets in Crypto Assets. MICA, okay. And these regulations, they require stablecoin issuers to be licensed financial institutions. So it's all about making stablecoins more like secure and regulated. Exactly, bringing them into the fold. Okay. And Algorand is already ahead of the game here. Really? Yeah, DHN Crypto highlighted this company, Quantos Payments. Quantos Payments, okay. And they're issuing a fully regulated programmable euro stablecoin oh. on the Algorand blockchain. So this shows that Algorand is taking compliance seriously mm, and right. they're ready to meet the demands of these new regulations. So this is this is a pretty big deal then. Oh, absolutely. What kind of impact could this have on businesses and just like regular people? Well, DHN Crypto gives the example of micropayments for public transport. Okay. Imagine instead of fumbling with cash, or cards. Yeah. You just use your phone. Okay. And these micropayments, powered by stable coins on the Algorand blockchain. Interesting. It could be much more streamlined and efficient. Yeah. And because Algorand is so fast and inexpensive, right? It opens up so many possibilities for businesses to innovate. Yeah. And for consumers to benefit. Absolutely. I mean, faster, more affordable services. Who doesn't want that? Exactly. It's a win win for everyone. This is fascinating. Algorand is like, Everywhere. It's popping up everywhere, yeah. From yogurt containers to stable coins. It's pretty amazing. I'm really curious to hear more about its future potential. But yeah. before we get there, I think it's time for a quick break. Okay. And during this break, make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com. Okay. That's Brian with an I. Got it. And get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Sounds helpful. It's over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Wow, that's a lot of words. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. Okay. The link for that is in Brian's YouTube bio. Great, I'll check it out. Now back to Algorand. Okay. So we've seen how Algorand is impacting supply chains, yeah. financial inclusion. Yes. What other areas are they are they making waves in? Well, let's talk about stable coins. Okay. Those are cryptocurrencies that are tied to the value of something stable, like the US dollar or the euro. Okay. And they're becoming super popular. Uh-huh. Algorand is really positioning itself as a leader in this area. You mentioned the euro specifically. Is there something going on in Europe with stable coins? Yeah, the EU has these new regulations for stable coins. They're called MICA, which stands for Markets in Crypto Assets. MICA. Wow. And these regulations, they require stablecoin issuers to be licensed financial institutions. So it's all about making stablecoins more like secure and regulated. Exactly, bringing them into the fold. Okay. And Algorand is already ahead of the game here. Really? Yeah, DHN Crypto highlighted this company, Quantos Payments. A Quantos Payments. Okay. And they're issuing a fully regulated programmable euro stablecoin wow on the algorand blockchain okay so this shows that algorand is taking compliance seriously right. and they're ready to meet the demands of these new regulations so this is this is a pretty big deal then oh absolutely what kind of impact could this have on businesses and just like 
regular people. Well, DHN Crypto gives the example of micropayments for public transport. Okay. Imagine instead of fumbling with cash or cards, you just mm. use your phone. Okay. And these micropayments powered by stable coins on the Algorand blockchain. Interesting. It could be much more streamlined and efficient. Yeah. And because Algorand is so fast and inexpensive. Right. It opens up so many possibilities for businesses to innovate. Yeah. And for consumers to benefit. Absolutely. I mean, faster, more affordable services. Who doesn't want that? Exactly. It's a win-win for everyone. This is fascinating. Algorand is like everywhere. It's popping up everywhere. From you know? yogurt containers to stable coins. It's pretty amazing. I'm really curious to hear more about its future potential. But um, yeah. but first, we got to take a quick break. Okay. Sounds good. It really is. It's remarkable how Algorand is kind of like weaving itself into so many different parts of like our digital lives. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Alan Crypto brought up a really interesting point. They were talking about like the disconnect between Algorand's price and and like its actual achievements. Yeah. Yeah, that's something I've been thinking about too. They think that Algorand might be undervalued, like Right. especially considering all those partnerships and the real world stuff it's already doing. It's true. Sometimes the market takes a while to catch up to what's really happening. They even suggested that Algorand could be like on the verge of a huge price surge. Oh, wow. Like maybe even a 100% increase. That would be something. Yeah. Well, it's important to remember, we can't predict the future of any cryptocurrency price. Right. But it is really interesting to look at some of those technical patterns that Alan Crypto highlights. Yeah. Like they talk about this like, falling wedge formation. Falling wedge formation. Yeah. Okay, break that down for me. Sure. Imagine like you're looking at a price chart, right? Yeah. And you connect a series of those price highs and lows with lines. Okay. In a falling wedge, those lines, they converge downwards. So it creates this wedge shape. Oh, I see. And that often suggests a potential shift from a downward trend to an upward trend. So that's why they see it as a bullish signal exactly it could indicate a breakout is coming okay but should everyone just rush out and buy algo based on this that's a good question and you know investment decisions should never be based solely on price predictions right right it's crucial to do your own research understand the fundamentals before yep. investing in anything yeah cheeky crypto echoes that sentiment you know they acknowledge Algorand's potential. Yeah. But they really emphasize the importance of DYOR. Doing your own research. Doing your own research. Exactly. Sure it. It's all about making informed decisions. It's your money. You got to be smart about it. Exactly. And, you know, Crypto Hulk was pretty excited about Algorand launching a compliant stablecoin. Oh, yeah. I saw that. They seem to think this gives Algorand a real edge over Ethereum. That's an interesting take. Stable coins are definitely a hot topic right now. Yeah, especially with all the new regulation. Exactly. Algorand moving towards compliant stable coins is a big deal. Right. And DHN Crypto dives even deeper into the significance of that Quantos payments launch. Yeah. You know, yeah. That, that regulated euro stable coin on the Algorand blockchain. Yeah, they tie that into the EU's MICA regulations, which is smart. It does seem like this positions Algorand as a real front runner in the whole compliant stablecoin space. They're definitely one of the leaders in this area. DHN Crypto even suggested that Algorand could play a big role in the future of CBDCs. Central bank digital currencies, that's a big one. They highlight the fact that the Marshall Islands already uses Algorand to power their national digital currency, SOV. That's right. It's interesting to see governments getting on board with Algorand. Yeah, it's a real vote of confidence. Absolutely. DHN Crypto also shared a clip from that documentary about Hassab Pay. Oh, I saw. And they explained that they chose Algorand because it's cheaper, faster, and more efficient. Which aligns perfectly with what we've been talking about. Exactly. It's great to see that real-world validation. It's one thing to talk about the technology. Yeah. But seeing it in action is really powerful. And speaking of Hassab Pay, DHN Crypto really emphasized the positive social impact of this project. Absolutely. It's not just about the technology. It's about the people it helps. They even shared a really powerful quote from the Hassab pay team oh yeah about restoring dignity to the humanitarian experience that really stuck with me it's a good reminder that technology can be used for good absolutely so yeah taking all of this into account yeah what does it mean for algorand's future 
Well, if we connect all the dots here, Algorin seems to be in a really good position yeah. for continued growth and adoption, yeah. that focus on speed, scalability, sustainability, real world applications. Right. It's making it a really attractive platform yeah. for developers, for businesses, for governments. And as DHN Crypto pointed out, Algorand is actively trying to tackle some of the biggest challenges facing the world today. Yeah, things like climate change, financial inclusion. It's a blockchain with a purpose. I like that, a blockchain with a purpose. It's not just about the tech, it's about the impact. That's what sets it apart. I think so too. We've covered a lot of ground today. Yep. We've explored the technology, the real world stuff, the potential role in the future of finance, the social impact. It's been a good conversation. But the big question is, will Algorand live up to all the hype. That's the million dollar question, isn't it? We don't have a crystal ball, unfortunately. Right. But we can see that Algorand has a lot going for it. Yeah. A strong team, a dedicated community, huh. impressive technology, a growing list of real world use cases. And that's what makes this space so exciting, you know? It is. We're witnessing this evolution of technology yeah. and its impact on the world. It's fascinating. Before we wrap up with some final thoughts, okay. let me remind our listeners about a great resource. Sure. Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com. Okay. That's Brian with an Aya. B-R-I-A-N. Exactly. Got it. And get your free affiliate guide. It's called 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Sounds helpful. It is. It's over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Wow. Just submit your name and email. Click that verification link. Send to your email address. The link is in Brian's YouTube bio. Awesome. I'll check it out. Now, back to Algorand. Okay. What can our listeners do to learn more and stay updated on its progress? Well, I always recommend visiting Algorand's official website. Okay. They've got tons of information about their technology, their ecosystem, uh -huh. their vision for the future. It's all there. Don't forget about all those YouTube channels we mentioned. Well, yeah, those are great resources. Cheeky Crypto, Whiteboard Crypto. Definitely. Allen Crypto, Crypto Hulk and DHN Crypto. All fantastic for keeping up with Algorand and, and the whole crypto space. They give some really good insights. They do. And as always, yeah. remember to do your own research. Always. Evaluate the risks and make those informed decisions. Absolutely, that's key. It's been a really fascinating journey exploring Algorand, like from the tech behind it to those real world stories. It has. It's more than just lines of code, you know? Right, it's about potential. Yeah. It's about change. Yeah. Exactly. So what's like the one big takeaway okay. you hope our listeners walk away with today? I, I really want them to see Algorand as more than just another cryptocurrency. It's huh. it's a platform for innovation. Yeah. It's a tool for empowerment. Uh -huh. It's a catalyst for positive change. Beautifully said. And for our listeners. Yeah. We'll leave you with this final thought. Okay. Will Algorand be the blockchain that kind of bridges that gap between the digital world and the real world? That's the question. Will it be the key to unlocking a more equitable and sustainable future? Who knows, but it's definitely a journey worth watching. It is. Only time will tell. But thanks for diving deep with us today. It's been a pleasure. If you enjoyed this deep dive, be sure to subscribe and share it with your friends. Spread the word. And remember, knowledge is power. So keep exploring, keep learning, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Couldn't have said it better myself.